name is Grant Collier, studio head of Infinity Ward. When we were going out to uh, 29 Palms about maybe seven, eight months into development, drove up there the night before, woke up, I think it was four o'clock in the morning, and then headed to this range where they, they do the live fire action with the tanks. We wanted to replicate all of the authenticity that we had with Call of Duty 1 and 2 and bring it to this modern Call of Duty. So we have been flying around lots of military bases. We've been taking volumes and volumes of reference photos, talking to uh, multiple people that are in the military, and cornerstone for that effort has been Major Kevin Collins. We're at a mechanized urban assault where in the game it's gonna replicate a small town, infantry moving through with tanks and support. 29 Palms is really an amazing place because it's one of the few places in the world where you can do a, a live fire action with tanks. So they have a little mocked up town. The Marines will be coming into, into this village. They'll have little green dummies popping up that have lasers on them. Response time is everything. You've got the tanks rolling in there. All the infantry is supporting the tanks, which is a huge uh, inspiration and gave us a lot of understanding. So you'll see a few levels in the game marked after that action. It was a real luxury for us that uh, the Marines were allowing us to come there and, and do this whole photo shoot and have our animators you know, behind the tanks and uh, the artists sitting there watching the, the heat rising from behind the tanks and when the, the tanks would fire, it was startling every single time it happened. I was in the command tower and it was a little bit spooky. You're like, I'm in the middle of this building and they're firing all around me. But they're like, ah, don't worry about it. You know, you won't get hit. <laughs> And why do I have all this body armor on? In the game, I spent a lot of time recreating the way that the breaching would work. And throughout many of the missions, you're going to see your AI comrades stacking up and you know, doing their, their breaching actions. So we've really meticulously recreated that. Facilitating the animators to really see how Marines operate and move, facilitating the artists to take pictures and apply those textures, particularly of utilized weapons, where it's not something drawn from them you know, a movie armory somewhere, but actually weapons that are worn and have been to Iraq and back and bear those wear marks. So it was, you know, a very rapid process. I mean, that information is just voraciously inhaled by all the other members. I mean, our guys are just die hard about being authentic as possible. All of the Marines that were out there, I guess they had gotten word that there were some of these video game guys coming around. And they're all bringing their gear up and they, they're trying to show us their gear. And we gave them open invitations to come on down and visit us. And they were just totally awestruck. A bunch of the guys took us up on our open invitation to come down to Infinity Ward and, and check out the game, which was awesome. They jumped into a multiplayer game. At first, they went running every which direction, got slaughtered. And then they're like, all right, guys, you know, this is not the first time we've done this. Now let's get together. And then they got together. They were covering each other. They were implementing real-world tactics and just were able to demolish like uh, the testers that they were fighting. And it was just really great. I really believe the Call of Duty teams have gone above and beyond. Some of the Marines have actually commented, wow, this is going to be one heck of a game. You're really showing us in our reality and what we really look like. Some other games that maybe have been in the past haven't had access to this type of training in particular. This is the only place that does a live fire mount with tanks and infantry combined. So this is a one-time event for these guys, and they've gone above and beyond to get that actual detail for the gaming community.